to open the festival, I'd like to introduce uh, Greg Mulholland, MP. He was elected MP for Leeds North West in 2005. As the chair of the all-party parliamentary Save the Pub group, Greg is a tireless campaigner for real ale and community pubs across the UK. Greg was Camera's Campaigner of the Year in 2010 for his efforts in protecting community pubs from unscrupulous developers and speaking up for hard-working licensees. So well done Greg, and can you please now come and officially open the festival. Thank you very much Mark. Are you having a good time? Is anyone drinking Heineken? Does anyone actually like Heineken? Well, it's an absolute pleasure to be here, and ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, I have just come straight here. I have hot-footed it from Hyde Park, where I have been watching the Olympic triathlon. Um, an amazing feat of endurance, even longer than lasting the whole trade day at the GBBF. And let me tell you that I had the greatest of pride at watching not one, but two of my own constituents, Alistair and Johnny Brownlee, in getting medals. Alistair Brownlee won the gold and Johnny got the bronze. Give them a huge GBBF cheer. And also, for Team GB in this historic Olympic year here at the GBBF back at Olympia, that gold medal that Alistair Brownlee from Leeds won also gave us our 19th of this Olympics, equaling the amazing tally in Beijing. Give them all a huge big cheer. But I also want to say that one of the great experiences of the Olympics that I have experienced in the last few days have been the amazing volunteers, the people who've given up their time to, to help and to advise. But also let's remember that this festival only happens and beer festivals around the country only happen because of the amazing camera volunteers who all give their time to make this and beer festivals possible. So let's give them a huge big cheer as well. Oh, I've got a heckler, that's exciting. I've never had one of those before. I'll do, start doing a few gags. I've not, I've not met your wife, actually, no, not, I won't do that one. But can we also have a big cheer and thank you in his last, his 11th year, organising this amazing celebration of British beer. A huge round of applause and thanks for Mr Mark Holmes. But it's so appropriate, this is during the London 2012 Olympics. And the London 2012 Great British Beer Festival is indeed a festival of something that is just as important to Britain as sport, and that is our national drink, beer, and our national institution, the Great British Pub. And do we have one or two ladies and gentlemen who brew some of our wonderful national drink to enjoy? Do we have a few of you here? Well, of course, you should have been the official beers available at all the Olympic, Olympic venues. It's a disgrace, an utter disgrace, that Locog chose a fizzy, bland, foreign lager to be the official beer. But at least here today, we can celebrate British beer. And you, brewers, you are our world champions. You are our medal winners. And you are our beer Olympians, and we salute you. Give them the biggest cheer of all. And on a serious side, just briefly, can you also all please carry on supporting Camera, one of the most successful campaigning organisations in this country? Because the Olympics organisers could have chosen from any one of 840 British breweries brewing over 5,500 British beers. There are four times as many breweries as when Camera was established over 40 years ago. So let's have a big cheer for Camera for what they've done for British beer. But please, 
keep campaigning, keep supporting your local camera branches, go on to the e-petition to deal with the fact that we pay 40% of the entire beer duty paid in this country. It's wrong. I want it to change, you want it to change, and if we all keep calling on governments, it will change. So please make sure that every single person in this festival over these few days signs that petition. There's a, there's a, a ticking clock there which tells you how many people have signed. It's 75,000. We need another 25,000 to get a debate on the floor of the House of Commons. So please get everyone to sign. Let's get over 100,000 and let's tell the Chancellor that the beer duty escalator is a joke and to stop punishing uh, an industry that contributes £21 million to this country every single year. And now it's my job to hand over for what you've really been waiting for, which is the announcement of the, the winners, indeed the bronze, the silver and the gold medalist, you beer Olympians, you world champions, and I'll be handing over to Mr Beer himself, the man who actually looks like an MP, Mr Roger Protz. So, without further ado, let me hand over to Roger, and with that I declare the London 2012 Championship World class winning Olympian GBBF officially open. Thank you very much, Greg. You can borrow my suit anytime you like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, for 12 months now, tasting panels have been tasting and choosing the best beers up and down the country. Today, the final panels have been tasting the beers that came through all those uh, exhilarating and exhausting tasting sessions. And I've just come from the final tasting session to tell you who the winners are. And this is the first knowledge I have. We start with the mild category. The bronze goes to Son of Sid. Oh. <laughs> Son of Sid from the Muckcart Mild. The silver goes to Hobson's Brewery for Hobson's Mild. And the gold, and I think they've been here before, Rudgate's Ruby Mild. The bitter category, Joint Bronze. Flower pots bitter. It says Fuller's. Is that uh, London Pride? I presume London Pride. Oh, I beg your pardon. It's Gales Seafarers Ale. I do apologise. <laughs> I thought they were two separate breweries. <laughs> what do I know about these things? <laughs> Let's start again. Bitter category. Flower pots bitter. Fuller's Gales Seafarers Ale and Salopian Shropshire Gold. The silver goes to Tintagel Castle Gold. And the gold in the bitter category, Purple Moose Snowdonia Ale. Who opened the border? <laughs> Best bitter category, Joint Bronze. Milton Pegasus, Oakwell Senior Bitter, the silver, Salopian again, Hop Twister, and the gold in the best bitter class, Green Jack, Trawler Boys Best Bitter. Golden Ales. The bronze goes to Hobson's Town Crier. Silver. Brewed by a Brewster, a lady brewer. Cumbrian Legendary Ales Langdale. And the gold in the Golden Ales class, Dark Star American Pale Ale. Fantastic beer, wonderful beer. Strong Bitters, the bronze goes to Highland for Orkney IPA. 
the silver, O'Hanlon's Storm Stay. And the gold, good grief, they've won again, Dark Star Festival. Speciality beers. Can you not hear? Speciality beers. Beers which may be brewed with fruit or herbs or spices. The bronze goes to Nethergate Umbor Magna. The silver, Little Valley Hebden's Wheat. And the gold, Dunham Massey Chocolate Cherry Mild. The champion winter beer of Britain, this competition was held earlier this year, but just to remind you, Porter was won by Hammerpot Bottle Wreck, Stout by Cairngorm Black Gold, Barley Wines and Strong Old Ales, Coniston No. 9 Barley Wine, and Old Ales and Strong Miles, Driftwood Alfie's Revenge. Yesterday we judged Bottle condition beer, relay in a bottle. The bronze goes to Molson Coors Worthington's White Shield. The silver goes to Great Gable U Barrow. And the gold from Edinburgh Stewart's Embra. And now the magic envelope. Ladies and gentlemen, the overall winners of the Champion Beer of Britain 2012. The bronze goes to Dark Star American Pale Ale. The silver goes to Green Jack Trawler Boys Best Bitter. And the gold, and this is a beer that has come through from the winter beer competition into the final here today. The gold, the champion beer of Britain 2012, Coniston number no. 9 Barley Wine.